How to create a book on Canva to sell on Amazon. Hi, how are you doing? I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be showing you step by step how to create a journal to sell on Amazon using Canva for free. Canva is a platform that you can sign up on from anywhere in the world for completely free. But before signing up to Canva, if you have any doubt that journals don't make money, if you were to go onto Amazon.com and type in journals for travelers or journals for anything overall, you're going to be amazed by the amount of money that persons are making selling journals. As you can see right here, you can see that this simple journal, over 800 has been sold in the past month and all you'll do is simply create a journal just like this after watching this tutorial. And you can see that this journal over 100 has been sold over the past month. And by scrolling down, you can see that these journals are getting a lot of views and also they are getting a lot of purchase. And a journal is quite straightforward. For example, I clicked on one of the examples. And by scrolling down, you can see all that is inside is simply a blank page, as you can see right here, their daily itinerary. And you can create a journal for almost anything. For example, all you'll need to do is go onto Amazon and you could type in journals for, and then you will see numerous ideas that you can use. So you can create a journal for writing, or you can create a journal directly for women. So journals for writing women, journals for girls, or you can create journals for kids or teens as you can see right here. So it doesn't matter the reason, you can create journals for decorating. And that is the beautiful thing about Amazon. With Amazon, it is also a very powerful search engine. And that's the thing about Amazon that I like. Amazon is a powerful search engine. So for example, after creating your journal, if you target certain keywords, you will get a lot of organic traffic. But now that we know about Amazon and all of that, and you are now convinced that creating a journal is a good idea to make some passive income, let's get started. So after creating the account on canva.com, the next thing that I want you to do is open another tab and I want you to go on to bookho.com. And you may be wondering, why are we going onto this platform? Well, I want you to go onto this platform and tap right where you see KDP Cover Template Generator. And there are two reasons why we are going to be using this template generator. The first thing is we want to get the correct size for our journal. And the second thing is we also want to use this template so that we can create an eye-catching but also very detailed journal cover. So all you'll need to do is decide the size journal that you want to create. For example, if you want to use the example that I had tapped on, by scrolling down we can see the particular size. So let's look on the size right here. You can see that this one has over 64 pages as you can see right here. And its width is 4, 4 inches by 68 and the height is 7.5 as you can see there. And majority of journals tend to be 6 by 8 or within that size range. So for this example, I will be using the 6 by 8 size. So all I would do right where you see width, I'm going to put 6. Right where you see height. I'm going to be using seven, let me use nine for this example. So six by nine. Then depending on the amount of pages that you want to use, you could fill it in here. So you could use 64, you can go up to 120, any amount. For this example, I'll be using 30. Then we are going to use leave the page type at white. Then you are going to scroll down. After scrolling down right where you see your email address, you are going to simply add your email address twice, then tap on icon sent right here and tap on email cover template. Let me do that real quick and then we can continue with. Once on this page, you can either choose to donate or if you can't, you can tap on maybe next time, then you'll tap on continue downloaded a template I want you to open it and you will see the correct size of your journal cover including the blade 
and the bleed is the middle section right here so all you will need to do is add the correct size for example you can see that mine is 312 by 234 mm all we'll need to do now is go onto canva then we are going to tap right where you see custom size after you have tapped on custom size all you will need to do now is add the size so 312 by 87 as you can see right there so i have now added the size once you have added the size you will be redirected to this page and by the way while adding the size i want you to ensure that you have changed it from px to mm so you want to ensure that you have done that that is a mistake that a lot of persons tend to make after you have done that you are going to tap on uploads and from here you are going to simply upload the template that you had downloaded so let me upload the template real quick once the template has been added you are going to add it to your canvas right there so you are going to simply tap and drag and place it once it has been placed you can see it right here and all we are going to do now is simply tap on the template after you have tapped on the template i want you to tap on the transparency icon right here so you are going to tap on that and you are going to carry the transparency to roughly about 50 percent after doing that from there you can choose the color that you would like to use by simply tapping on the color box right here so it all depends what color you would like your journal cover to be so for this example i will be using yellow so again if i were to tap on transparency and then carry it to zero you can see how the cover would look so after doing that we're going to add some details to our cover so to do this all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you could tap on elements after tapping on elements you can decide what you would like to add so let's say for example i'm creating a journal for dog lovers or dog persons all i would need to do is type in dog in elements after i've done that i will simply use some of these dog graphics so i'll tap on them then i'll simply change the size so i'll be adding one photo right there then i'm going to be adding this one right here in the top so let me minimize the size and I'll add it right there. And the reason why we downloaded the template, as you can see, we now have an outline. So you can see that this is the book cover and this is also the book back. So we can separate them. So all you'll need to do now is add some text. So we'll go over to the left menu option again, tap on text. Then I'll tap on add image after i've tapped on add image i'm going to simply drag the text box right here and let me change the size then i'll type in you can change the font style by simply tapping right where you see canvas signs on my screen so if you would like to change the font style you can do that you can also change the size of the font so let's say i want to increase the size of the text i can do that also as you can see right there or you can simply pull on the box right here after you have increased the size and it is to your liking all you'll need to do now is tap on the entire canvas again then you are going to tap on transparency then you are going to carry the transparency to zero and you can see how my book cover looks once you have finished creating your book cover all you'll need to do now is go over to the top right hand corner top right where you see share then you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap on download after tapping on download right where you see png you are going to tap right there and you want to select pdf print ensure that you have selected pdf print then tap on download once you have downloaded the book cover as you can see right here all i want you to do now is tap right where you see add page after you have tapped on add page you can delete the first page right there then you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on design after tapping on design you are going to type in notebook 
paper or you can type in lined notebook paper any one of those option after you have done that all you will need to do is scroll down and you can see numerous templates that you can use so you can scroll down until you see one of your liking for example this one right here after tapping on that you will see similar ideas that you can also use if you want so you could use this one if you want or any one of these and since I'm going to be creating a 30 page journal all I would need to do now is duplicate the pages so all I'll need to do is tap on the top right here where you see duplicate page so I'll simply duplicate the pages let me do that real quick so I'm going to tap on duplicate right there and I'll duplicate 30 pages once I've duplicated all of the pages all I'll need to do is go over to the top right hand corner again tap on share once you have tapped on share you are going to scroll down and you are going to tap on download then after selecting download you are going to tap where you see PNG and you are going to select PDF print then you are going to tap on download journal pages have been downloaded all you need to do now is go on to kdp.amazon.com and you can sign up if you don't already have an Amazon account but if you do have an Amazon account, all you'll need to do is sign in. Once you are signed in, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And I want you to tap on bookshelf. After you have tapped on bookshelf, all you'll need to do now is scroll down. After scrolling down, you're going to tap on create. Once you have selected create, you are going to scroll down and you are going to tap on paperback. After selecting paperback, you will be redirected to this page on which you can continue your upload. So from here, you can select your language. I'm going to assume that it is English. Then you can add the book title right here. I'll simply name this one Simple Answers, just for example sake. So let me do that real quick. Then you can put in your subtitle if you want and you can scroll down and right where you see author you would simply add your first and last name right there or you can make up a name as I've come to realize that majority of the author names that you see on most books they tend to be made up so all you'll have to do is make up a name then from here you could add in a quick description after adding in the description you are going to scroll down and you will tap right where you see i own the copyright after doing that you are going to see the option adult only content so if you want this book contains language it doesn't so we are going to tap right where you see no after doing that you are going to scroll down then from there you can choose your primary marketplace i would leave it at amazon.com then from here you can choose categories so i'll leave low content book right here journal i'll tap on that after you have done that you are going to scroll down and you can add the different keywords depending on who your journal is targeting you can add various keywords right there now let me fill in a name real quick up here so let me do that real quick once you have filled in the information and tap on save and continue in the bottom right hand corner, you will be redirected to this page and you want to leave it at publish without an ISBN. Then you are going to scroll down and from here you can set the publication date or you can leave it at your live on Amazon date will be used right here. You can leave it as is. Then we want to select black and white interior you can select other page colors but keep in mind that selecting another page color will increase the price that you would have to sell your journal for and in turn cut down on the amount of profit that you'll be able to make and also the type of customers that you'll be able to target as your journal will be more expensive and you can see what size what what is a trim size and you can see my journal is six by nine and I will select bleed as I added the bleed also and you can choose whether you would like your paperback to be matte or glossy after you have done that you'll see the option upload paperback manuscript 
you are going to tap right there. After you have tapped on that, you are going to quickly go into download. And after going into download, from there you could add your journal pages. So I'll simply select my journal pages, then tap on open. And you can give it a few seconds to upload. Once it has been saved, you are now going to add your book cover. So let me upload a book cover real quick. So I'll tap on upload cover file. Then you are going to go into downloads again and you'll simply select the book cover that you had created. After adding the book cover, all you'll need to do now is tap on save and continue. And from there you'll be led to the pricing page on which you'll be able to set the price that you would like to sell your journal for. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.